All right, well, here we are at 100. We got everything set up down there. We got our ballistics gel, we got our clay, we got our chronograph, and we got our three quarter inch plywood. So we got that down there. And I'm gonna start with the ballistics gel. And, you know, we'll be shooting, we chronographed this at 950. So the hybrids are shooting 950. Custom impact, like I said earlier in the intro, custom impact from Utah here. So we'll be shooting 950 feet per second. I didn't go faster. I'm keep. I'm going to go for nice accuracy at 300. So we'll see. But well, here's our 100 yard test. So let's see what happens. Okay. Wow, that's that sounded pretty cool, didn't it? Okay, Clay. Clay's next. And I didn't figure for the wind drift. All right, my bad. There we go. Oh my goodness. So that that's proof there on those shots. We zeroed right before all this. And uh, you can see the wind drift there is probably three inches. We had a nice wind that, of course, you can't see here. And now it just stopped. So we have a nice shot on clay. That was my fault for not pulling over far enough. But we're going for what we want to see is the ballistics of this. Okay, so now we got the plywood down below. Okay. So you heard the plywood. Now we're going to see if we can get a chronograph number. It helps if you load the gun too. All right, now now I'm going to shoot through the chronograph there, hopefully. And uh, hopefully no chronographs get harmed in this. I'm going to shoot at the target first. So I'll shoot at the target first, see what the wind drift is, see what we got here. Okay, it is three inches. Okay, we did get a reading, one shot, right on through. Perfect, Ryan, let's take the cameras down there and go see what happened. Sound cool? Sure. Okay, well, let's walk through some of the info here. So, brand new gel, and you're probably like, well, Rick, you hit way over here. Well, that's consistent with what I was saying about the wind. A lot of you were like, oh, going to blame it on the wind, huh? Well, no, we actually did have a wind, and here's proof. So we hit here, we hit here, and let's, let's bring you over to here. I just tested before I shot through the chronograph and look at the consistency of what you're seeing. You're seeing about a two, in, two inch or more, and you look at this, you can see what happened there. So I just wanted to go over that before people start giving me so much grief about hitting the edge of it. But look at the devastation, that block. Okay, here we go. Now let's see what we got into our FBI. So we are going to go, looks like we are right at about 8 and 7 eighths uh, penetration into our ballistics gel. So we'll mark that at 100. And now we'll come over here. What we were hoping to do is uh, catch the round that went, I got my fillet knife, the round as it went through the clay, but of course we have nothing here. So I'm gonna move that to the side. And normally I use it like a, a fishing line to do this, but a fillet knife is gonna work really well. So I'm gonna try and go with, see if we can capture this exactly. Here we go, we should get a good look. Temperature right now is probably 39 degrees. <laughs> All right, let's lo open it up. Oh my goodness. Look at the, you get to see there's fragments right there. Left and right there. There's a good look at that here. Let's, Ryan, can you see that okay? Yeah. Okay. That's pretty massive. That is massive.
the wound channel there is huge. But that goes to show with something denser, you see the ballistics gel. The slug itself is intact there at 100 yards doing 775 feet per second. Okay, that brings us to the plywood. So here's our plywood and we're gonna mark all this stuff for you. So there's a plywood and there you go. There's your definite pass through. Take a look at that. So 100 yards, three quarter inch plywood, pass through. All right, well, I think you see everything that we're doing here and how we're doing it. So now what we'll do is we'll move down to 200 and recreate this whole thing. Hopefully I'll, I can catch the wind a little bit better on the next round here and get to see what it's doing. Of course, you might see me test uh, the gun on the target first before I try and go boom, boom, boom down through this. All right, let's get set up for 200. All right. Here we are at... Uh, well, we lasered this. I didn't know this when I set it up, guys. We said 100, 200. We're at 207, to be exact. So when you guys run your math and stuff, now the first 100 was exactly at that. So now we're sitting right at 207. Now I'm shooting finding rounds on the target, so I know what the wind's doing. Okay. I'm gonna make adjustments, Ryan. And then we're gonna go for it. Okay, we're gonna go. Do it. All right. Okay, ballistics gel first. Sounded good. Sound like a good hit. Sound like a good hit. Now, see, guys, ballistics gel at 200 yards. You can't see where the round hit. It's just clear. Okay, Clay. Let's see what happens. Wind picked up. I feel it. I'm gonna hold left. I got a hit high in the clay. All right. Plywood. Good hit. Going back to the target just to check. Because I'm going to shoot through the chronograph next. Yeah, we got that left to right wind right now. Did it push it? It did. Yeah. <laughs> chronograph. Live or die, buddy. I think we got a reading. I don't have a good hit on that clay block though. I'm gonna shoot at the dirt pile and then come back to the clay. Perfect. I had to just see what the wind was doing. I had to come back to it. I wanted a better reading than that. The, the one hits high. I think the other ones I was overcompensating, but well, there you go, guys. This is just real shooting happening right now. We're just doing our thing. And, and uh, you saw the precautions I was taking. I don't know if we got a chronograph reading. Uh, I'm, I'm looking to see if I can see it. But I got the, the, just so you guys know, I got the chronograph tilted up now. So I can't see it straight on. So I don't know if we got a reading or not. But if we did, we did. If we didn't, we didn't. You know, it is what it is. Safe the weapon. Let's go take a look. We're being hauled down here to 207 yards. And Walking's overrated. Yeah, it is overrated. And took a lot of shots there on that clay to get that perfect. It'll be interesting to see where I hit the ballistics gel. So we're going to, hopefully we got a good hit on it because of what the wind was doing. Uh, we got the one sighter I took actually missed the target. So that means that the wind down here at 200 was coming off the mountain down to the target and moved that round. I mean, it moved it pretty good. Because you'll see on the target, it was new. You can see what I was doing. So we're not talking about accuracy of the gun. We're actually talking about the wind. So I will show you the target so you can see what was going on, see how accurate the gun is at that range also. I mean, you'll see that where I was moving that I actually made the adjustments. 
range owner is trying to throw you for a loop, Brian. Okay, well, you can see I have a high hit here. We It sounded really good. It did capture the round. It is a high hit. And we don't know what was going on wind-wise because take a look here, take a look here. High hit, high hit. Now they're kind of center mass here, but then the wind changed on us. And let's come over here just a little bit out of sequence, but these were sighting in right before with no wind. So here's here and here, and then here I moved it to here and there was no wind. So then we had quite a few shots at the clay where I nailed it on the first shot and hit high. And then I was like, then the wind seemed to really pick up down here. Take a look here. Now you know it's wind aided. Do you see this right here? It's straight across. And then one of them actually missed the target totally. So that tells me the wind that we had down here was about 10 to 12 miles an hour. Um, I probably should have put wind flags down here for you, but just showing you what's going on. But this is what you're looking at out of your gun. You're saying, okay, are the hybrids accurate at 200 some yards? And you can see that they are. These were adjustments to here, but you can see what wind does. And this is your wind readings is figuring this out and saying, hey, look at the drift we had there. That goes to show you how far the drift is. Now, if this was over here, down here, or something like that, that's something different. But when you see consistency like that, you know that's wind. All right, let's get back to what we were talking about. Okay, so a great shot here, Ryan, is let's go to where we see the it actually bounced back. We see a pressure crack here uh, at nine and a quarter, so it pressure cracked it into there. But it looks like the round penetrated to it stopped at about eight and a quarter. That's that's pretty amazing if you think about it. Eight and a quarter. Um, we're still seeing the same penetration basically, so that's very interesting. Now, I I hit this clay or this uh, ballistics gel here a couple of times. I could hear it hitting. So yeah, and I think we got lucky and were able to capture a round if you guys give me a second here to take a look oh my goodness we actually did it, it there you go there's the clay and then here's the round Ryan I'll set it there I don't know if you can see that does that make it better there to see it that way we'll put it there so there you go now the other one definitely passed through this one is right there so we we're able to capture that and we're gonna move this out of the way like we did last time all right, and we are going to do a slight cut here and just see what this is all about here. I'm just curious what happened here. I'm just going to take a, a quick look. Oh, so that's just a pressure wave coming out the top. So here's the round coming out here. You see the entrance is over here. So here and here. All right, let's just slice that just a little bit and take a look at it. and We'll kind of peel it back here a little bit. I don't want to damage it too much. Actually, I'll go down through this one. Give me a second. Oh, they're they're almost in line with each other, except the exit. I'm gonna try and get them. All right, maybe we can get both of these in the same because you can see where the wind was. I held actually on that shot. I was holding when I hit this. There was not as much wind. Then when I aimed at this one to get this hit here, I was actually aiming right here. So we had a heck of a a drift there. Let's make sure we got this. Okay, here we go. So even that, there you go. There's a good look. Now I'll set this back to kind of like it was, but you can see the pressure that was coming up through there. So, and I kind of missed the, the hole on the cut there, but well, there you go. That's for you. And we don't have the feet per second. I might take a, another shot here at 200 and just see if I can get that, and I'll do that real quick. Um, we probably won't set up cameras, but I'll just take the shot here and see if I can get a reading here and uh, see if I can give you that info, because I think that's important too. But you can see what that round looks like. That is totally, at 207 yards, that is totally smashed. So that is really great info. All right, let's mark everything up and see what we get. Okay, so since we didn't get a reading on the first one, I went back and I shot through the chronograph so I could get this number for you. And you see I put a target here. 
but let me let me just show you something I had to take two shots to get the reading look here look at these two shots now so I aimed same hold checked for wind definitely before I pulled the trigger let's uh talk about a little bit about the, the plywood here which I I wanted to make sure that we talked about so now we got right here and that's our 200 okay so there at where it was at 602 right 602 okay so here we go so she just cracked the plate i'll give you a little side view there she just cracked the plate right there and almost came through three quarter inch plywood at, at 200 so we know we're, we're holding the energy at 600 feet a second something you know coyote even at 200 he's getting smoked that's that's penetrating through there so